Hey there! Uh, today we're going to talk about a Faginato pen. Fred Faginato makes very nice pens. I have reviewed in the past the Petrarch King size. This is the regular Petrarch, which is a little smaller than the King size, hence the King size being the King size. Uh, this is the, uh, the Majestic finish, that's what it's called, and this pen was very kindly sent over by Papier Plume, so thank you very much. I am going to cover the parts of the pen, I'll do a writing sample, and then I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get cracking. Okay, let's get started on the Fagionato Petrarch, not the king size, but the regular Le Majestic. Interesting box with a magnetic closure, those are always fun. And then we have the pen. This pen is made, handmade, I should say, from cellulose acetate. Uh, cellulose acetate, so it's basically plant fibers that get processed, dyed, heated, and then they get bonded together. And the result, I have to admit, is a very pretty looking pen, at least in my mind. <clears throat> so that is quite nice. Uh, Le Majestic, the finish is named after the uh, uh, Hotel Barriere Le Majestic in Cannes, in France, uh, so hence, hence the name Le Majestic. And as I said, it is a slightly smaller version of the king size, but I think this is a pen size that appeals to a lot of people. Now, just so you know, this happens to be the titanium nib. You can get a steel nib version for $228. Titanium adds 95 on top of that, and then you can get a gold box nib, which is $185 extra. Uh, and the gold nib also comes with a matching gold clip. Okay, now let's cover the parts of this pen. So the top of the cap, finial, same material as the rest of the cap, which I think looks rather neat. I, I kind of like the looks of this. Uh, Fred Faginato uses these interesting ski slope uh, style clips, which I like. Uh, they also work very well nice and springy. Uh, barrel tapers down ever so slightly and the end of the barrel same material again so no specific end cap or anything. Pen unscrews, cap unscrews I should say nice simple barrel shaped section and this is the, the titanium nib. Now very interesting all the titanium nibs I have seen are sort of a, a dull dark grey and this almost looks like chrome. Uh, I've never seen it. I had to verify, actually Aziza verified with Papier Plume who sent us this pen if this really was a titanium nib, if this did not happen to be uh, a steel nib, because to be honest uh, that's that's kind of uh, uh, what it looks like. Um, but uh, the gentleman from Papier Plume said no, 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 this is actually a titanium nib, um, but uh, Faginato uses unmarked uh, uh, titanium nibs. And what I will say is it is peculiarly springy, which I think is something that a lot of people would really enjoy. So in that regard, rather nice. Um, just not, doesn't look like most of the titanium nibs I've used, but then again, who am I? Uh, works very well. Pen, if you want to, can be posted. Makes for a very nicely sized pen, I would say. Uh, and even unposted, I find it a nice length to use. Comes with a cartridge, comes with a converter, so you can use bottled ink straight away, which I think is rather nice. Now, final thing I should show you before we start writing with this pen is the comparison in size to a Lamy Safari. And as you can see, the Faginato pen is just a tiny bit smaller than the Safari. Okay, now then, let's do a little bit of writing. If you don't mind, I'm not going to put in um, the Majestic. So the nib is a, is a titanium nib. Um, it, I don't think it comes with a grade, so fine medium, but let's, let's call this uh, fine medium because it's maybe leaning a little bit more towards medium than fine. Okay, the ink is a brown ink and I forgot which one. It's too bad that's the way it is.
Neb writes nicely, pretty, smoothly, comfortably. Uh, doesn't have the, the feedback that I have come to expect from titanium nibs. Really not bad. Let me zoom out a little bit, guys. Sorry. Um, really not bad. Doesn't really skip. Performs rather nicely. Also, relatively wet, which I think is quite nice. And being titanium, often you can get quite a bit of springiness from it. And this specific titanium nib is no exception rather nice and keeps up relatively well with the ink flow or the ink flow keeps up relatively well with the flexing I should say. Reverse writing the nib gets a lot drier not really scratchier that is nice but it gets a lot drier but as you can see you can probably get away with a couple of words and that's all there's to it so a very kind thank you to Papier Plume for sending over the pen I think it's time we have a look at what I like about this pen and what I not like about this pen. What do I like, what do I not like about the Fred Faginato Petrarque? Well, I think the Petrarque is actually a very nice pen. I think it's a nice model, I think it's a nice size that will work for many people. I also like the fact that you have different nib options, steel and titanium and gold. It's not necessarily a very cheap pen. 228 for a steel nib. I don't know if that is particularly affordable, but I will say it is a nice finish. It's also, and that's hard to show you with the light coming from there, but it is actually a little transparent, making for a very nice material. So that, that is very nice. It's comfortable. It's also a slightly lighter pen. Some people, some people really like lighter pens. I think for those people this is great. As I said, I like those nib options. I think titanium is a very nice option and this particular titanium nib really is quite nice. As I said when I was doing the writing sample, many titanium nibs are a little feedbacky, have a very specific type of feedback. This is actually a very smooth titanium nib. So uh, I had not really experienced that before, but I thought that was very neat and, and cool. So there is that. Now, having said all of this, I really don't think this is a bad pen. And I don't have that much negative to remark beyond the fact that maybe it is a little pricey for what it is. But it's pretty and it's comfy and it writes really well. And all of that is stuff that I think is very important. And to be honest, I don't really have much more to say. So it may not give you a bottom line, it may not be very cheap, but you get a very nicely made pen that does write very well. And that's worth a lot. So there you have it. I hope this was useful. And uh, of course, a kind thank you to Papier Plume for sending over the pen. And I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye.